hoping for a bit of texture today. Yes, hello, it's texture time, ebonizing lacquer time, rainbow wax time, something perhaps a bit bolder and brighter. But who knows? I've got a blank here mounted on a, on a screw chuck. I've just trued across the face. It was something used in previous blank, uh, previous demonstrations. So it has uh, had to be tidied up. So I've made a foot that I can mount it on uh, when I turn it round. I'm going for um, a steep side, but I'm going to put a shallow curve on the bottom because I think that looks better. So I'm just going to work away at the corner here. I don't want to lose too much of this wall height. If I go onto the overhead, you'll see the shape starting to emerge. And now I can start refining it, lower tool rest and sheer scrape with the lower wing. I'm going to cut it and this is going to be lower than this side. I'm actually going to cut from this direction. So I'm cutting with the grain. I'm going to actually just do a sheer scrape. And feather it out as I get to this corner here. So you should be able to see that shape appearing. And I think it looks a bit more dynamic than having it parallel. Bit of clean cloth. And I find this removes any remaining little bits of abrasive left on the surface. Come onto the overhead for this and the speed needs to be a, a lot lower. So I'm using my Simon Hope or Hope wood turning texturing tool. Uh, that's a little bit too slow. So just on the edge here, quite a shallow angle. If I come onto the tail stop camera, it's not, that's it, uh, you know, flat and level. That's it pointing all the way up. I'm going for maybe 15, 20 degrees. And I'm just gonna work it backwards and forwards across that edge. ebonizing lacquer and then to clear up where it's I've got the overspray I'll just use another coat of cut and polish I just want to turn around and inspect that I want it at the bottom of all of the texture of course
let's just check the depth while I've got it here. Four pounds twenty nine. Had this quite a long time. Just a little tip, if your uh, gilt cream has dried out, like mine had, to a very hard, lumpy, dark brown looking 
mess, you can have some success rejuvenating it with a bit of white spirits and a bit of mixing. So here it is. Um, I need to let the wax dry, then I'm going to buff it, see if it puts a nice sheen on things. The rainbow wax dries, uh, uh, you know, 20 minutes or so, maybe sometimes quicker than that. But the gilt cream takes a bit longer. I don't want to start burnishing that or buffing it and getting it all mixing together. I like the way it looks like it carries on from the side up into the top. I'm not sure I've got the blend of colours between each colour as I would like it. But it was fun to do. I can see where I've given a bit of a rub on, on the rainbow waxes. There's a nice little sheen starting to appear. I'm not sure how well that shows up. Interestingly, the red took quite a lot of uh, time to apply. It kept seeming, seeming to fade into the into the background a bit. So there we go, another little project. And uh, still images, of course. In some ways, I think this one I prefer in parts rather than the whole. I'm going to do some nice close up photos of this one. Well, Till next time, thanks for watching. Oh, wrong camera.